For the Circuit Python Parsec today, I wanted to show you how simple it is to use a mouse cursor in Circuit Python, particularly on the Pi Gamer or Pi Badge. This can be generalized for other boards, but it's really, really uh, almost plug and play with these two boards to use the Adafruit Cursor Control library. So you can see here I have a Pi Gamer, and I'm going to move the joystick around, and you'll see I get this nice, smooth. Uh, cursor action. There's a little bit of streaking, I think, on the video playback, but in real life it's really smooth, really nice. Uh, and you can see here just, this is probably slowing it down a little bit, but just so I can uh, have some output that could be useful, I am printing in my serial output here the cursor position on XY. If I go ahead and uh, resave that with that commented out, now it's probably going to run even a little smoother. Um, you can also see here I'm doing things like click. When I click a button, I get a little update about clicking. Uh, and the way this is set up is really easy. First thing I'm going to do is import the cursor control uh, and the cursor control cursor manager, set up the board, put the mouse cursor onto the display using display I.O. And then during the main loop, all I do is cursor update. So internally, the library checks to see if it's a Pi Gamer or a Pi Badge, and it automatically hooks up the XY of the joystick or of the D-pad buttons to the XY of the mouse. Now, you can do things like change the speed of it, change the size of it with additional controls, but the most basic usage of it is this really nice, easy cursor that you can then use to build other applications on top of. And we have some great examples of both this simple setup as well as clicking some buttons and having things change as you click the buttons. And so that is how simple it is to set up a cursor on a Pi Gamer or a Pi Badge inside of CircuitPython using the Cursor Control Library. That is your CircuitPython Parsec. Wow, wow, wow.